Yes, Susan, and you may remember when we first covered the story in November, those people had gotten a reprieve from evictions. Well, today, the council member who represents this area actually had a big meeting because these people say they're being forced out one way or another. Listen. We want to be here to defend all of you. That's why we're here. Redondo Beach Council Member Todd Lowenstein meeting with people who live on boats at Kings Harbor's marina. Many of them retirees and veterans on fixed incomes who have paid extra to live on their boats full time, many of them for a long time. And I've been down here since 1974. Never missed a slip payment. Many of them reached out to Fox 11 when Majestic KHM LLC became the new leaseholder of the marina and started serving them with eviction notices during the holidays. The city stepped in getting the liveaboards a reprieve, but now they say they're getting charged for services they don't even use. $125 for a pump out, but it's only for the people who live on their boats to, to pump out the, the waste material. Okay, a lot of people don't have waste material. They use the, sh the shower and the regular bathrooms, and they said it's mandatory. He says he went to the office to ask about the fee. I said, who wrote this letter that I got in the mail? No answers. Next day, I got an eviction notice. If you do get an eviction notice, let me know. City officials not the only ones concerned. You know, I really appreciate having you liveaboards here on the docks. Worried uh, are the people who have boats here, but don't live on them. And Roger Carlson also happens to be chair of the Coastal Commission. Boats come untied, boats take on water, boats start to sink. So to have a liveaboard there watching all that is, you know, selfishly as a boater, I really want that there. And then you get to know these guys, and they're great people. There's not a lot of affordable housing in, the, in this neighborhood, and you know, here's, here's 60 spots of low-income housing that's getting threatened. And even though the city owns the property, KHMLLC has a lease for the next 11 years. That is, they have a lot of control over who they allow to live here and who they don't. And so our legal team has looked it over. Uh, our rights are limited in terms of what we can do, but we, what we can do is advocate for the people, and we're very concerned that people are going to be left with nowhere to go. What are we going to do? Where are we going? What are they going to do? How are we going to, where, where are we going to live? I'm 80 years old. I wanted to die in my nest down here. I don't, I don't want to be looking for a place to, to, uh, to stay uh, after all these years. And at this point, no comment from KHM. I'm Christina Gonzalez in Redondo Beach. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, Christina, thank you.